So this is something that I've seen played out a lot in the lucid dreaming community, and largely in lucid dreaming books. You see authors like Charlie Morley, who is digging into some Jungian psychology with lucid dreaming, and you see people like Robert Wagner, who is kind of positing this awareness behind the dream. And to me, both of these ideas are geared towards the idea of getting meaning from your lucid dreams. Because I think we all know that there is a way in which you can find useful information that you can apply to your life to improve it. But I think most of us haven't really understood that or conceptualized it properly. And that's how it comes through as these ideas that intermingle with this odd sort of spirituality and produce the result of a very metaphysically minded woo-woo community. I think we have to acknowledge in this game that, yes, um, to a large extent, we have to be aware that we might be reading meaning into things where meaning might not be. And I always say there's really no reason to believe in anything that's unfounded. So, and in any case where you would feel like you're reading into meaning, just like, eh, just a dream. There doesn't always have to be meaning in a dream. But there are dreams, and we've all had these dreams, if we lose a dream for, for a length of time, where we do get an insight or a perspective or a bit of information that rings true for us in our lives in some way that gives us a new take on it that either changes our perspective for having experienced it or for changes our behavior in a subtle way that leads to a bigger change in our lives. The biggest way that I think I see belief affecting the way people utilize and, and benefit from lucid dreaming is really about getting that meaning from your lucid dreams. Because, again, we, we all sort of intuitively feel like we can get meaning from our lucid dreams, right? All the writers and the, and the people in the lucid dreaming community are all kind of like circling this idea that there's something profound about lucid dreaming going on. There's there's something bigger at play here. What is going on? What is the thing? What's the diamond in the rough? What am I looking for in lucid dreaming that can give me something of greater value? And I, it's got to be finding meaning. And it's really a very sordid and delicate topic to talk about with any bit of reason and sense at all. There are a lot of people who do dream work, and most of those people are complete bullshit artists. Um, dream interpretation is associated with that. Um, but that, even that's a fine line, because there's dream interpretation in that here is what things mean, and this means that for every person in every dream. If you see this, that means that. And that's bogus, but there is a way of interpreting your dreams in which makes a bit more sense. Um, a person could analyze their own dreams and, and get some sort of sense of maybe why it is they had dreamt that or, or why it makes sense for them to have dreamt that, generally speaking. But to actually have a dream and get some valuable, useful information out of that dream that you can then apply to your life to improve your life is markedly more difficult than any of these people will tell you. Now this is what I have written my book on. So I, I have a huge interest in this and I, I have a horse in this race, this meaning race, this meaning from dreams race. Because it, I believe it can be done, I, be, I believe I've experienced it. I believe, I, I believe I have a method for going about it that I give in my book, but it's a very difficult, 
tightrope walk. And the funny thing is when I say I found a method for doing this, when, when following any method for finding meaning and profundity within the maze of the mind, it's going to be different per person. So when, when, I, when I say method, it, it's more of a loose process and a mindset that I try to impart to people. I really hope to see that catch on a little bit because there, there is a very directed way we can go about self-exploration in our lucid dreams that can produce better results. And in results, I'm purely speaking about things that improve your mental state and your life. And I think that's really what all of us want out of lucid dreaming. And I really feel that the number one thing that inhibits people from getting the best that lucid dreaming has to offer is really their, their own limiting beliefs.